Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. If you've been noticing lately that I've been making attempts to vlog more during the day, but here we are yet again, and it's yet a, the beginning of yet another day. And the last segment was the beginning of the first of, of the beginning of another day. In other words, instead of uh, uh -huh. vlogging throughout the day, uh. I only managed to get the first the first vlog in, the beginning vlog, the start second segment, and nothing else for the rest of the day. And that's because there's so much work that has to get done that it's almost impossible sometimes to do or get to the intended. It's not and this is it, it's not that work isn't getting done. It's getting done, it's just work that can't be vlogged or you're busy while you're you know, you know, while, while you're doing the work and you don't have time to uh, pull out the camera and vlog while you're doing that work. So what ends up happening is you get the beginning vlog, you know, the beginning of the day, uh, but you don't get anything else. <laughs> but then again, you know, we'll, we'll see. But we'll try to make this more interesting because other other vloggers, when they say, "Well, I didn't vlog because I didn't do anything today. All I did was watch TV all day long." You know, usually vloggers vlog when they go out, they do something, and people have active, some people have active lives, so they vlog a lot because they're out doing things. But if you're a researcher, and you want, you know, if you want to watch, see what a researcher does all day, and I'm here at my research desk 95% of the time, you know, busy, I am a nerd, I am a geek, uh, and I'm here. This is where my life is. This is my, that's why, why I'm Cyborg Golf. Cyborg Golf is my, my cybernet, my virtual existence. So, <laughs> anyway, let me give you a time and date stamp because uh, that's what I intend to do. Uh, it is 23 hours and 58 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, October 9th, 2014. Uh, so, things, things have been going well. I have been making progress. Things have been, I, I've, I've done a lot of work in uh, the kitchen diner. Uh, I've been baking again. I decided to sort of uh, stop buying snacks and start making my own stuff. So, uh, and I decided to make my snack desserts very healthy. How do you make desserts healthy? Well, you can cut down on the sugar by putting in fruit. So that's what I do is I take fruit, I mash it up in the blender, uh, I puree it. And once I take, I take the puree, and I incorporate that into the uh, cake, whatever cake I'm making. Uh, if I want to make a cake, it, the f part of the cake is a fruit-based cake. So it, it's it in, in, in part of the, I should say, part of the batter, right? Because to make a cake, you have to make a batter. And to make that batter, you uh, usually use uh, basically basic, the basic ingredients. is either flour, milk, flour and water, or milk and water, some liquid in water. You put in eggs and so on and so forth. But the thing is, is that uh, if you want to make the cake a little healthier, you can put fruit in there. You can put fruit into the batter. Make you know, and the way I do it is I make the uh, because I puree the stuff first. You put uh, the fruit in with your liquids. Then you start. You, then you add in your you know your, your baking powder or baking soda, whatever you, whatever you would choose to to use. You put in your eggs. You blend in your eggs. And then, as once you've got your liquid set up, then you start adding in the solids, basically your, your, your flour mixture. And one of the reasons why I leave, leave your flour mixture to last, if you know what a batter consistency is, then there's a difference in, there's a difference in consistency, consistency for batters, whether you're doing brownies or you're doing uh, 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 
cookies or whatever, there's a difference in consistency to these uh, batters. And what you want to do is you add in to the liquid the flour, continuously mis mixing it in, do it bit by bit, you stage it in, and you watching for the consistency. Once you get to the cake consistency, you now know you've got something more significant, and that's where you start, you know, you either put in a little bit more to make it, make it a, you know, a, a thicker, heavier, you know, make it more, more flour to make, you know, or you can actually pull back a little bit and leave it, leave it be, be more moist, more like brownies don't have, they're not, the brownie batter is not as thick as a cake batter is, so if you want to do a good cake batter, a nice light fluffy cake, you put in more flour, um, and this is how you sort of uh, mix in. That's how you mix it in without using actual measurements. You'll be do, if you're looking to do it like a look all village style, and most uh, chefs will tell you, "Oh, baking is a science. You can't fiddle around with things." Well, you can. Uh, and this is what we call village style cooking. Vi village style cooking does not have measurements. It's all about taste, flavor, and knowing what. The beginning product looks like, and how to how, what the beginning product looks what the beginning product looks like as you make to achieve your end goal or end product, or the end what your, your finished baking good. And if you can get that done right, and sometimes you, you know, in the beginning you're going to make mistakes, but the more you practice at it, the better you get. It means the better you'll get at it. So, you know. You do have ways of figuring things out. You do have ways. You don't have to be, uh, you know, scientific about. It. You don't have to follow recipes exact. You can make things on your own if you don't mind. You know, and, and you, in the beginning you're going to make mistakes. And even later on, once you have experience, if you're trying something new, every time you try something new, there are going to be make. You, you're go, there are going to be mistakes. You are going to make mistakes. So, uh, this is the adventure of cooking. If you want to do that, look at it that way. <laughs> And so that I did a lot of work in the kitchen diner yesterday. I cleaned all the pots and pans because all that has to be done. Uh, I did some work on uh, the studio for uh, Toys DIY. And that's what's going to happen again today. So today uh, I've taken a, sort of a, a bit of a break off, a break from um, doing debug work to do work on my uh, 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 other things and do organizing and cleaning. And that's what's going on this week. This week is organizing and cleaning. So. Anyways, I'll try to vlog later on. We'll see what happens, and we'll go from there. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the next segment of the BTS vlog. Let me get our timer started. Here we go. Now for time and date stamp. It is two hours and 26 minutes into the day of, yeah, no, 20, two hours and 27 minutes into the day of Friday, October 10th, 2014. And the vlog where we're using our new camera just went up. I just took a look at it. Now that's why we're a little late. I got up around uh, 1.30 and I realized that the vlog was, uh, uh, was up because it had uploaded, it processed and everything. So, um... I did that while I was sleeping. So I decided I wanted to see it. I wanted to see what this looked like in terms of the quality. And it looks good. Uh, I'm happy with the way it came out. Uh, the only issue is that there are some glitches in here. But the thing is, I've been looking at other channels that are using 1080p as well, that are using the, that are using the higher format cameras, and they're all glitchy. Every, it's not just my video that's glitchy, it's all the videos are glitchy. And it's not, it, you know, it's not bad. It's not, a, they're not bad glitches, but they're, they, you know, uh, more Zoella has glitches in her channel. Uh, Piddle has, uh, uh, has, has glitches in her channel. She does 1080p. Uh, Bertilli has glitches in their channel. They're, they're there as well. Uh, every, everybody that's filming in 1080p uh, seems to have glitches. So I think the problem has more to do with YouTube than it does with the cameras here. But I could be wrong. It could be the. It could. It could also be the format. I know the 1080p format has a lot of problems. I know the networks uh, are not always up to speed in terms of in terms of the, dealing with the file sizes. 
1080p uh, uses a lot more data space than uh, the lower formats does, uh, and it takes a lot more uh, memory to process everything. So uh, it, it could be that uh, the networks simply aren't ready for 1080p. And I think this is where a lot of the problems are coming in is that we're seeing on the American North American networks that the North American networks are not quite ready for 1080p. Although the Japanese and Asian networks, they're doing, they're doing 4K now. Uh, the Japanese and the Asian networks are now moving to 4K. And we're still struggling with 1080p. This is going to tell you how far we are behind Asia. And if you're wondering what's going to happen in the future, where things are going. Well, if you see Asia doing all this development work, and they're way ahead of us in technology, well, that's, gonna, that, that's the writing on the wall. That's where it is right now. And it's not that, oh, they stole everything. If they stole everything from us, they wouldn't, do, they wouldn't be doing better than we are. In order to be doing better than we are, they actually have to sit down and work at it and actually develop their own stuff. You can't simply copy things uh, and expect the quality to be there. Because but the, the quality is there. They do have 4K. That tells you that... Uh, uh, <laughs> that they are significantly ahead of where we are, and a lot of our our belly aching, if you will, our uh, cries of foul. Uh, it's just that it's, it's 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 our own. We're we're being beaten, and we're sore losers. So every time you hear, "Oh, China, they're out to get us," well, no, they're not out to get us. Uh, they're beating us at our own game. They they did what we did. In terms of how we play the business, they, they learn the stuff from us, basically. Uh, we offer global trade. We said, okay, global trade, you know. And as soon as we start losing at the global trade game, oh, the Chinese are out to get us. You know, that's the, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of what you hear on the news is the sort of uh, if you call it, you know, it's not necessarily sour grapes in terms of the, the, the psychology term. But it, 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 it's, it's a suckiness. It, it, it's, it's a whining. It's a complaining without the ability to do anything. It, 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 it's a demonstration of our disability, if you will. That we always need to play this victim game where we're always being victimized by somebody else. And then in order to rectify this victimization that we have to get back at them in some manner. In other words, we're always being attacked it's, it's kind of like, it, it, it's kind of fitting given that we place so much emphasis on teaching our young self-esteem. Which is basically, well not basically, self-esteem is defined as narcissism. Narcissism and self-esteem are the, they're synonymous. They're the same word basically. And the fact that we're teaching our kids to be narcissists, we, we want our society to be narciss narcissistic. Of course, we're going to blame other people for our problems. We're not a narcissist is not going to blame himself. He's going to go look for somebody else to, to blame for the problems. And of course, he'll go because he is a narcissist and go and attack that person. And that's exactly what we see today. We we are creating wars all over the world. Why? Because we need to feel good about ourselves, and we need to find a war that will help our narcissism. So that we can say, oh, we did good. But that's not happening. Every time we have a war, things go badly. And, but anyways, you know, <laughs> that's kind of where we are today. Uh, I'm going to get the day started. We do have a lot of work to do. And I do have to start watching the time more carefully. Because this camera, the longer it is on, the more glitches that come into it, and that causes a problem. So, um, I will come back. I'll do another segment. Uh, I now realize I do have to do more segments in here, so I will be coming back uh, later on and doing just that, adding another segment to keep these segments shorter. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you in about, you know, a couple hours. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. The good news is, I'm not vlogging every day. 
the bad news, I'm only vlogging once a day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always seem to be able to do the, the, the uh, vlog at the beginning. Uh, vlogging in the middle of the day seems to be falling off a little bit. Well, it's falling off. Not a little bit, it's falling off. Uh, it just, I'm not, the, the amount of work that it has to get done during the day, I'm not at a point yet where I can bring extra vlogs in. So, at least we've got this daily. Uh, as I said, we're, I've been working away pretty heavily at the, on the kitchen diner, trying to sort of get things, uh, uh, the, the, the cooking is going well, and the menu is going well. Uh, I now have a seasonal menu. I have one for winter, I have one for uh, spring, one for f uh, summer, one for fall. So I have a variety of different menus there. Uh, but the place is not yet in a presentable form. Although, I am considering this, that because we are uh, uh, BTS Vlogs behind the scenes, maybe uh, it might be of interest to sort of vlog as we're sort of constructing the thing. So, uh, I'm not too sure yet. I probably will do, let's say for today, I might do, uh, I'm leaning towards doing a test clip. Uh, today in the um, in the kitchen diner. We'll see if that actually ha happens. Uh, I am going to have, I do have to go shopping again, so I might take you with me to do that. But then again, you know, it, it, the, the thing is, is the, how much am I going to say while I'm, while I'm walking? Because uh, it needs to be a quick trip. It can't be something that's uh, lingering. And simply to take you out, to take you out, uh, <laughs> when there's not really much to say, I'm mostly in my see when I walk, I'm mostly in my mind, mulling over things. Uh, the the, the, the peripatetics is uh, where you uh, walking philosophy. The Greeks did this is something that's common to the Greeks. Uh, and as you're walking, you, th you just think about things. You think you, you know you think things over. You think about the different work you're doing. Uh, the things that things you, you think about things that you're studying, things that you're sort of pondering as you're moving along. Uh, the question that c comes up often is, uh, you know, you know, how do you approach certain problems that you're having, like let's say financial problems, or there's some philosophical problem you want to bring something along better than you need doing uh, right now. I'm also thinking about uh, when I'm when I'm speaking, how do I phrase things properly? Sometimes I'll go over, uh, you know, I'll go over. Uh, it's not really a speech, but because this isn't speech making, this is uh, a verbal essay. This is writing with your mouth, and the thing is, is that you do need to be aware of how you phrase things. And I, I, I'm still making mistakes. I don't think that I'll ever get 100% perfect, but the thing is, if I can conti continue practicing, continue uh, uh -huh. working at it, then I think my speech patterns will get better. I think even when I'm tired, my speech patterns will get better. Uh, and things will be more interesting. I notice that when, when I am really tired, really sluggish, I've been watching some of the stuff where I'm really tired and really sluggish, that my speech patterns fall off to a point where it's hard to watch because it's so slow. I can see the sluggishness in there. Uh, and the thing is, is what needs to happen if you're on camera the way you were doing with vlogging and doing behind the scenes, then the mind has to be able to connect properly while even in, in a state of, of, of complete exhaustion. So, uh, <laughs> These are the things that I sort of think about as I walk along. And then, of course, I, th I think about, uh, you know, how to make the world a better place, how to resolve various different problems uh, in terms of engineering problems, uh, how to resolve different social problems. In other words, it, it, there's a whole gamut of thought as you walk. And so this is sort of what happens when you're... Uh, when I'm walking, when I do the food shopping, but the thing is, is, is because it's in my mind, I can't take a, I can't take a video of what's going on in my mind. 
So I, I think maybe I'll vlog when I come back and tell you maybe the things I've been thinking about. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to set up my uh, my language, my language studies uh, program on here. I'm going to set up my notebook for that. I have, I've got it in ad hoc notes, but I want to organize it better. So uh, this weekend is going to be a language studies uh, weekend. It will be Greek. Uh, eventually it will be uh, uh, Arabic, Syriac, and all the ancient languages. So that's where I'm going with that. Uh, and I might even add in some Japanese and Chinese. <laughs> Who knows? And here comes the bell. A little off here. Oh, no bell. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so I'm thinking of doing that. That's where I'm planning for today, this weekend. And uh, yeah. So I hopefully I'll try to see you uh, later on today. But if I don't, I'll see you again in the next segment. And I don't know where these segments lie in terms of uh, where they are in the uh, half hour episode. So I'll see you next segment, whenever that is. All right, take it easy and have a good day. It's time for a uh, somewhat quick uh, end of the day vlog. Oh, exhaustion. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm vlogging at the end of the day not because uh, I wanted to, but because necessity forced me into it. Anyways, it is 13 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Sunday, October 12, 2014. Yay. And the issue that sort of uh, popped up was once again this whole thing with um, uh, with Kubuntu. <sighs> One of the drawbacks to Linux is there's not a lot of communication to, act, is to, to, to what is actually going on. And this causes a huge amount of problems. Because Things have things been going well, then you upgrade your system, and all of a sudden, an upgrade that you didn't think would be eventful turns, be out, turns out to be a major change, and you have to start debugging all over again. And the thing is, they don't warn you, they don't tell you when a major change is going to happen. In other words, when they, when they say, oh, oh, upgrade, and they recommend that you do upgrade, they don't tell you that, that a major change has occurred. They don't tell you that things have shifted. And so you go to you run your program the way you normally go to run your program or app or whatever you want, you know, whatever you want to call it. And all of a sudden, things don't work. You try to roll back to what you had before, still don't work. So uh, that's kind of the situation I'm in now. I've uh, switched my editor from, my video editor from uh, Caden Live to OpenShot. Uh, somewhat, the, the guy who was doing, ma managing the, uh, the, the, uh, repository for, uh, Caden Live, this, uh, it, it, it was Sunny B, now this is, this is Oliver guy, I don't know if it's the same guy or, or someone took it over, but instead, uh, the original, uh, Sun AB was a great uh, repository because he kept the, uh, FFmpeg uh, track f uh, fully on board. You know, it, it was FMPEG, FFmpeg was the, was the standard. You didn't have to choose the uh, you didn't have to choose the uh, Kubuntu line. But what did he do? He instead of using the um, the code from <laughs> Kubuntu, which was what he's supposed to be doing, he's now using he's now using the uh, I mean the code from from Caden Live instead of using the original code from Caden Live. The way he's opposed and providing uh, you know additional features because the uh, the Kubuntu the Kubuntu uh, uh, line is very pitiful. If you go with the Kubuntu standard, because they they cr they created a new group called L L L L I B L I B A V. They created a new group for that. They're, they're trying to do their own video thing, but they're not they're not doing a good job. The videos are very low grade. The, the sound is very low grade. Uh, in other words. It's as if you went back to uh, SD. You you know you have you have an SD uh, you have an HD system, and now 
Gabondu can only do SD. It can't do HD anymore in terms of rendering out because it's new video system. Uh, there was prior to this upgrade, and that was this week actually, actually this weekend, Friday, Saturday, uh, prior to this, prior to this weekend, everything was fine. You could, you could, uh, uh, with Caden Live, you could, you could run FFmpeg on there and you could do full HD, no problem. Can't do it anymore. So I tried a new, I'm trying a new editor called OpenShot. A lot of people are talking about that, so I'm trying that now. Uh, I am going to go back to Caden Live, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to start doing some coding myself and putting together the dev files and sort of providing my own sort of peep, uh, called PPA, the, uh, the repository for this. Which means I'm going to have to sit down and do a lot more uh, debug work, uh, and that's what's going to happen on Monday. Monday I'm going back to my debug work, and uh, it's going to be a bit frustrating because I have to figure out what's, what's, what's actually happening now because uh, I was just getting the handle on things, and now things have changed again. And the same thing, the same thing is true for the IPTV. Just as you get the handle on things, they change again. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'll sort of see how things will go tomorrow. Uh, I'll, 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 when I get up, I'll sort of I'll be in a better frame of mind. Right now, I'm tired, and things are just... <clears throat> when you're tired, tired, your mind is tired things just don't go well. So, who knows what will tomorrow bring. Tomorrow's supposed to be Canadian Thanksgiving. Everyone's supposed to have the day off, but I'm not going to take the time off. I, I don't really... I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to go, so... Uh, I'm going to be here on my research desk doing the work I uh, usually do. Anyways, uh, our time is up, and uh, I will see you when I get up again. All right. Take it easy. Goodbye. Well, good morning, everybody. Well, not really good morning, but... For me, it's the middle of the night. I should be in bed. But I'm not. Uh, I have to have something, a little bit of something to eat. I don't know exactly what time I went to bed, but I'll give you a time and date stamp anyway, so... This will give you some degree of reference. It's 17 hours and zero minutes in, yeah, just 17 hours into the day of Sunday, October 12th, 2014. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that it was just uh, a few hours ago that I went to bed. But I'm feeling, uh, well, again, a little odd. Um. Uh, the uh, thing is, it's, it's actually kind of good that I'm vlogging now because uh, this is the time and period where I don't usually vlog. Uh, if you look at the vlogging dates, you'll find there are periods where I've, I stop vlogging. And that's because there are periods, and this is, I guess, where the, the, the if you will, the drama of the adventure comes in here. Uh, even though I don't go a lot of exciting places, the drama is still here. Uh, and the drama has to do with the level of risk. And risk means failure, it means not succeeding, and as I said before, uh, you're excited that, you're, that you look... that you level up you know, when you upgrade, because you're leveling up. But at the same time, it brings about... you have that excitement that you have leveled up, but it, at the same time it brings uh, the fear, because you're now at the beginning of a new level again, and it's usually at the beginning where things have the greatest amount of risk, there's the largest amount of failures there, because you really don't know where everything is, you're kind of new to the environment, and this newness causes you uh, a certain de a degree of stress, I mean, this, this is... Uh, if you're doing this for your life, in terms of this is the way you're going to live your life, this is gonna how you make your money, and basically this is it, uh, then there is a certain degree of stress to this because uh, if you're staring failure in the face, then one of the things that pops into your mind is, well, why am I doing this then? In other words, uh, in the face of risk, 
the thought goes through your mind of extreme failure, or what, 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 what you consider extreme failure, of losing everything. And that's certainly a risk here. The, 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 the risk of losing everything is here. And one of the things that, that really, really bugged me over the weekend, and it was just not even a few hours ago, everything was going well. On Caden Live, everything was, you know, my editing was going well, was, everything was hunky dory. Uh, one upgrade later, and. Nah. Uh, the guy who was supposed to be. Uh, that he'd, he'd stand in and, and you know he'd be, he would be doing uh, the uh, work for FFmpeg not there anymore he's gone uh, new guy is sort of taking over the thing I think it looks like it's a new guy anyways and he's moved the stuff back over to Kubuntu and, and the, the Caden Live the new Caden Live is crap it doesn't work anymore so I'm trying a new uh, uh, editor the, the people have been talking about it's uh Open shot. It's not as good. It's not as good. It's not uh, the the functionality and sort of the options are not there the way uh, 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 Caden Live was. But uh, uh, you know, if if it works, and that's that's going to have to be it for now because the only way the only way out of the situation that's going on now with Kubuntu, and this is why I put the title in uh, surviving uh, uh, the Kubuntu upgrade. It, it, the the upgrade the upgrade from from all the way through from all the way through through thirteen four to fourteen to fourteen four for about a year now it's been a nightmare they're messing up one thing after another and I've you know I've said to people you know uh, you know I've convinced people come on to Kubuntu you know Kubuntu is a good place to be if you want to be an open source this is it this is the the, the best chain this is the best uh distribution out there and what's happened now is is we've got a serious problem in the Kubuntu community where it's not anymore it's not the best they're making major mistakes it's, 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 as, it's as embarrassing as what you see on, on Microsoft you know I hate to say I hate to compare, compare uh, you know canonical the, when the groups that, that, that sort of were backing uh, and the Debian group that back uh, Gabantu in this line of uh, this line of uh, 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 sort of flavor of Linux, but there's no there's no way to there's no way to sort of uh, phrase this other this is, this is Microsoft, and we're dealing with an, a moment now where uh, before I was you know moving on, I was plodding along, you know, I was getting into development and stuff like that. I, I, I'm not planning to sit back and just sort of take from the community plan to get involved but it's a big it's a big de it's a big uh, effort to do that and I think now the pressure to uh, move faster is there now because you're seeing this community now that was once uh, well developed and, and prosperous in many ways uh, very popular now falling apart so the question is where do you go from now? How do you deal with it? And the goal here now is to see if we, I can keep vlogging, even though I'm feeling low. I, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at a, a really a very low point, very bad point. Uh, as a notification for me, no, it's Thanksgiving. I'm not going to be taking any time off. Uh, I have to do an enormous amount of work between tonight and tomorrow. Um, so. Who knows? A couple of days things could change, and it may be better. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, maybe mon on Monday. Uh, all right, I'll leave it here for now. Our time is up. You hear the buzz, the the bell go off. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Bye bye.
I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.